Today I'm out testing a portable HF antenna called the JPC-12. The JPC-12 is a shortened quarter wave vertical covering 40 meters through 6 meters. It's lightweight, easy to deploy, and handles a maximum of 100 watts. Stick with me and I'll show you what it can do. You are listening to the emergency broadcast systems. This station broadcasts emergency news and official information on the air for a sign area. So once again, I headed out with Oscar Hotel 8 Hotel Uniform Bravo, who helped me test the JPC-12. The JPC-12 quarter wave vertical antenna was sent over by Pileup DX in Sweden for testing and review. Now, full disclosure, I haven't paid for this antenna. It was borrowed to me for tests and review. With that said, initial testing was actually quite positive, with performance being better than expected. Ultimately, there were only a couple of minor things, but uh, we'll get to those later in the video. So spoiler alert guys, at the end of the day, I really like this antenna. It's lightweight, easy to deploy, it's ground mounted, quarter wave vertical. How can you go wrong? I mean, of course, a dipole at proper height above ground, it's going to outperform it. But uh, for what you get, with something so easy and quick to deploy, it's not a bad deal at all. To my surprise, the JPC-12 arrived in a fitted case a case with individual slots for each component. The kit sent over included four risers, a telescopic whip, a ground spike, a loading coil, the base unit, and of course the counterpoise wire set. Combined, all of these components give us HF through 6 meters coverage, 40 meters through 50 megahertz. Now packing up and tearing down was relatively easy, although with cold hands or wet fingers, it was a bit difficult to get things back into the fitted case. Now, Oscar Hotel 8 Hotel Uniform Bravo and I is set up in a place called Martiniemi, Finland in Haukipuras. I was running FT8 as Oscar Golf 8 Zulu Portable for the sole purpose of testing the performance of this antenna. I set up on 20 meters, running 10 watts from the ICOM IC705. Now, tuning up was relatively simple. You see the slider on the left side of the coil there? We slide that up and down to tune between 40 and 6 meters. The band tuning is done with the coil slider, and fine tuning once you're in the individual band is achieved by lengthening or shortening the telescopic whip. It's really quite intuitive. Now, getting back to my FT8 testing, I was actually quite surprised with the number of contacts I made on just 10 watts. Scandinavia, Europe, the UK, North Africa, the Middle East, even contacts down into China. Now, the most exciting reception reports received on FT8 that day, although I didn't complete the QSOs, were two stations from Southeast Australia. Now, honestly, it was kind of a strange time of day to hit Australia, but there they were. Now, my only regret from that day was not being able to complete those Australian QSOs. But this was no fault of the antenna. It was more about the amount of power I was running and the contest taking place on that band during that weekend. Now, after completing the FT8 session, I moved over to Winlink on 20 meters. Using 10 watts from the ICOM IC705, I was able to negotiate 711.9 miles, or 1,145 kilometers, to Lima Alpha 1 Bravo. Now, Lima Alpha 1 Bravo is an RMS gateway in southern Norway. Now, quite honestly, I was surprised it was able to make that connection because the range of that station is in what I call the Phantom Zone. It's that distance between NVIS and our first hop. Now, 20 meters is a DX band, so normally for stations or connections at this range, we would use 80 meters, 60 meters, 40 meters, even 30 meters, rather than 20 meters for a regional station. I just figured since I was already tuned up on 20, I would give it a try. End result, I was able to send and receive my emails and the connection was solid and reliable. 
So as I mentioned earlier, there's a couple of minor things I didn't really like about the antenna or things I could, let's say it a different way. There's a couple of minor things that could be improved on the antenna. First of all, the threads, the locking threads on all the components are M8 metric. This means we can't use the uh, accessories from other manufacturers with this antenna. One of the things I'd like to do is use a longer telescopic whip, uh, for example, the telescopic whip from Chameleon Antenna on top of the coil for the JPC-12. But I can't do that without making an M8 by 3 8 24 adapter. The other thing is the adjustment tab on the JPC-12. It's a little small and sharp to handle with bare hands when it's cold or raining or your hands are cold or something like that. It would be nice if it had a sort of, uh, some sort of uh, handle, small handle around it so that uh, you have more to grab when you're tuning. That would really make tuning a lot uh, simpler and easier on the fingers and hands. The last thing is the spike mount. Here at 65 degrees north, it's only going to be a matter of weeks before the ground is frozen again until May or June. So that spike is going to be extremely difficult to get in the ground, and if you can get it in the ground, it's going to be extremely difficult to pull it back out again once it's frozen. One of the things I'd like to see is some other type of stand for the mount in addition to the spike, an accessory, so to speak. That way we can deploy this thing when the ground is frozen without uh, having to fear losing the spike when we're not able to get it out. All right, guys, let me know what you think about it. Would you like to deploy an antenna like this? Uh, would you deploy this over a dipole or some other similar type of antenna? Let me know what you think in the comments. The only thing I ask is that you be polite. With that, I say, with that, <laughs> with that, with that, I say, if you like what I'm doing, if you like the content I'm creating, please leave me a comment and or super thanks and or a thumbs up to let me know. And if it's not too much to ask, please share this video with someone or some place where other radio operators might enjoy it. Rock and roll, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Ciao. Thank you.